Proteasomes are like recycling bins in a cell, so they operate to remove excess protein and break it down into its constituent parts so that they can be reused by the cell. So proteasome inhibitors work to block the function of the proteasome, and this means that there's an accumulation of protein in the cell which is toxic to the cell and causes it to die. This is particularly important in myeloma cells as they make a lot of protein and so really rely on the proteasome to function properly. Therapies targeting the proteasome can specifically kill myeloma cells rather than all of the cells in the body. We currently use a proteasome inhibitor in the clinic called Valcade or Bortezomib and this was one of the first proteasome inhibitors to be developed. It's really improved outcomes for patients over the last decade or so as it was one of the first specific therapies to target myeloma cells. Unfortunately it does have a few side effects and this includes damage to the nerves that supply sensation to the toes and fingers and when they get damaged patients can sometimes have numbness or tingling or occasionally pain in their fingers and toes and this can obviously affect patients quality of life when they're on the treatment. New proteasome inhibitors are now being developed which we hope will be able to overcome some of these side effects and lessen this damage to the nerves which we call peripheral neuropathy. One of the new proteasome inhibitors that's been developed is called Kiprolis or Carfilzomib and this is most often given in combination treatments usually with an immunomodulatory drug such as lenalidomide and also with a steroid drug such as dexamethasone and these combinations are really effective as they attack the myeloma cells in lots of different ways simultaneously and therefore have a greater overall effect. One of the other benefits of carfilzomib is that it has fewer side effects than the first generation of proteasome inhibitors. For example, it causes less of the nerve damage or peripheral neuropathy. One of the other new generation of proteasome inhibitors that's been developed is called Ninlaro or Exasimib. Similar to carfilzomib, this has fewer side effects than bortezomib and with less of the nerve damage or peripheral neuropathy. One of the other advantages of exasimib is that it's a tablet that's taken once a week and so patients can take this at home rather than having to attend the hospital. This also means that it might be better in terms of ongoing therapy for myeloma if patients have to keep taking it in the long term. Many patients respond very well to Velcade treatment and it's being increasingly used in frontline treatment for myeloma. The newer generations of treatment are being developed that can be used at relapse, perhaps for patients who've become resistant to Valcade if used in first line, but these newer generations are also being used now earlier in the course of the disease. So many of the drugs that we've talked about are only available in clinical trials at the moment in the UK. The best way for patients to find out about these is to look firstly at the Myeloma UK website where they have a clinical trial tracker, but also to talk to their local doctor or nurse. So in general, proteasome inhibitors are very effective for the treatment of myeloma. They target myeloma cells specifically, and with new generations, we are minimising the side effects that patients experience taking these therapies. <laughs>